Good afternoon. I would like to thank the organizers of this conference and I would like to thank them for inviting me. We will talk about an important uh, subject, reclamation works. Reclamation works that have changed the terms of uh, agriculture in uh, a great extent, to a great extent. There are works where large amounts of water are used. Bear in mind that 80 to 85 percent of water is used in agriculture. We're talking uh, 12 times uh, Lake Plastira that goes to agriculture. These uh, works, unfortunately, they are not in a good state. There are lots of problems. Therefore, there is a need for rehabilitation and modernization. And we must not do the same mistakes in the new works. First of all, a few things on management. Management must be done in a sustainable way so as to uh, leave, this, uh, situa leave a better situation for our children and grandchildren so that they live as they deserve. So we must not rob such a valuable resource of our grandchildren. The reclamation works problems are a lot. First of all, there are failures in the design, as well as a problematic management. Bear in mind that the design of reclamation works is done in an old-fashioned way. We do the same planning that, and design that we used in the 60s and 70s. Of course, there were some changes. We do not design by hand. We design using AutoCAD. However, the basic uh, approach is the same, and I will explain later. Regarding problematic, problematic management, we have water and energy overconsumption. I will show you a few examples later on. We have brackishness and overpumping along with salinization. Apart from uh, collective uh, works, drillings are also a problem. So we have over uh, pumping and brackishness, which is the biggest environmental issue uh, created by agriculture. Of course, there are herbicides, pesticides, and so on. But in Greece, brackishness is the greatest problem of agriculture. So Greece has a, a long uh, coastline, so uh, lots of these problems, problems are close to us. At the same time, we have illegal drillings and uncontrolled uh, pumping and brackishness, as I said. There is also the problem of understaffing in uh, uh, local organizations of uh, reclamation works. And these organizations are understaffed. There is a lack in specialized employees, a lack in uh, maintenance, which is always uh, construction-wise and never preventive. And also we have an aging equipment. Now let's talk about the planning. The analysis of the current situation in irrigation uh, needs during the study uh, phase is not uh, appropriate. Designers are not in contact with the future users, at least to the extent necessary. Instead of making the user a participant, we do not act in this way, while well, this is the case for other countries, and it has been proven uh, effective. So the designer designs without knowing the needs of the users. Also, we plan for 
say, 30, 40 years, which is the project's maturity date. And it is impractical to assess how will irrigated agriculture will proceed after so many years. As you will see, leads to uh, lots of failures. Now, we have the example of uh, uh, Pinios, of Ilia network, which was uh, constructed in the 70s, operated during the 80s, and based on the study, there was an assessment after 10 years uh, on uh, which will be the irrigated uh, lands and the fields. And you see that the irrigated land, and I would like a pointer, please, You see the irrigated land, it is half than the one assessed in the study. The study said that we will irrigate 236, uh, almost 236,000 in uh, the 90s. And in 1995, the actual figure was uh, one, almost 123,000 uh, irrigated uh, lands. The same goes for uh, uh, heath lands. Why did we have such deviations and discrepancies? The, the designers maybe did not do the good work. No, it's an approach. It's an approach matter. Even if I had conducted uh, the study, I would uh, have to deal with uh, discrepancies. While working abroad in various organizations, I had seen that throughout the decades, this approach is uh, inefficient. You cannot project. So designers say this. I will give you a short-term uh, projection from zero to five years. I will project the development and I will create a network. I will monitor it and depending on the demand, I will fortify it and adapt it to uh, the demand. Therefore, I will have uh, an equal investment, which will be more uh, rational, so to say. But this uh, process changes the whole scenery. It means that you need to have a properly staffed organization so as for this staff to observe and note where there are discrepancies and proceed in order to uh, adapt uh, the whole project to the newer, uh, newest developments. Therefore, there is a need for a systematic monitoring and uh, fortification of projects. And of course, there is a need to update and modernize the process. Now, this is a diagram that can be used as a tool for project design and implementation. I don't want to lecture you on that, but I want to show you that we have uh, useful tools that are not used in Greece only on a master's or PhD level. Uh, even though these tools exist for decades. And we see a diagram where we have the three uh, inputs of the project. We see demand, the provision to the project leader. Then we have analysis of the supplies and the demand. And this is throughout the crop season. These uh, blue lines that you see and these uh, curves that you see are derivatives of uh, the characteristic curves. And on top, we have the four lines, which are the head project. Such a complex diagram is useful both in the planning pro uh, stage and in project analysis because we can identify problems and then intervene appropriately in order to deal with problems. 
Such tools have not been used up to date. Overconsumption, a lack in maintenance, an improper billing uh, method. Usually farmers pay based on land owned. And there is a lack in technical support. Farmers are on their own. They do not receive instructions and there is no control. Anyone can put irrigating irrigation equipment and disorganize uh, the network, apply uh, pressure controls and so on. So the network does not function properly. Now, energy and water consumption, you see that there are uh, extensive differences. In private networks, the situation is better. We do not uh, pump so, so much because we are obliged to pay. However, due to illegal uh, drillings, there is still the problem of overpumping. In order for all of this to work properly, you need to have staff. You see, I made an assessment of uh, the staff in the general organizations of reclamation works throughout Greece. You see that in Oresteada there is only one engineer for so many thousand stremas. The same goes for Arta, Kalamata, Ioannina, only one uh, agronomist. This is not the way to manage projects. And sometimes this stuff is not even specialized. And when we uh, refurbish our networks, uh, we must be successful in doing so, because if we're unsuccessful, we go way backwards. Now, you see uh, a modernization project in Ilia. It was uh, a complete disaster. When uh, people in Ilia hear of modernization, they uh, run away. What happened was the project opened, the network uh, uh, opened, and uh, rocks entered into the network and it was a total disaster. So what we need? We need to improve the management and maintenance of collective works. We need to technically support farmers and we need to uh, program additional works and we need commercial administrative and financial management. We need a better institutional framework, which is old, it works in an old-fashioned way, and we need to modernize it. We need to create organizations that will safeguard uh, the proper uh, management of water. They, do they are not adequately staffed. We cannot manage projects while not having specialized personnel to do so. And we need to be able to support, to provide technical support to uh, farmers. The only uh, support provided to farmers is consultants by uh, irrigation equipment uh, companies. This is not enough. We need to have specialized uh, uh, technical support staff, which will be able to provide guidance to uh, farmers. We see new technologies for consumption measurement. This is a picture from Bari, Italy, which led to a 20% decrease in uh, consumption. We have seen uh, in uh, Serbia a project that led to a 40% decrease. And when we went to the ministry to ask accordingly, the, minister, the ministry said that there were uh, mistakes, so we uh, cancelled the project. Now, this is not a serious approach because uh, our uh, pe the people will uh, turn our back to these proposals. That's all. Thank you very much.